Hello, welcome to another session in how to play classic Bob Dylan songs. Uh, in this series of two, maybe three videos, I want to show you how to play in open D tuning and uh, then move quickly on to show you how to play the classic track Buckets of Rain from his uh, Blood on the Tracks album back in 1975, I think it was. Now, I've never actually played in open D tuning before, so it's a bit of a leap of faith for me, as well as for you, obviously. Uh, I suppose it's one in teaching circles, you call it, uh, keep you one chapter ahead of the students. Uh, put it another way, learning together. Okay, so here it goes. I'm in standard tuning at the moment, and Capo's on the second fret where uh, Bucky Serene is played, of course. First of all, let's show you how to drop very, fairly quickly into um, open D tuning. Taking the sixth string, the bass string, slacking that off so that it matches the 4th string, the D string. So we've got two Ds. Okay, and that's drop D tuning. Lots of songs played in drop D tuning including Tambourine Man of course. Next, the 1st string also wants to drop into D. So slack that off, so that it matches the 4th. And that's double dropped D tuning. Nice tuning to work in. Next, drop the second string, the B string, to A. Match it up with your fifth. And you've got Dadgad tuning, which is very popular in folk and Irish and Celtic music. Finally, we need to drop the G string just half a step to F sharp. So let's just uh, run through each string now individually and make sure we're in tune. First string. What will be D, but for the fact we've got it on the second fret. Second string, A. Third string, F sharp or G flat. Fourth string, D. Fifth string, A. And sixth string D. Nice full sounding D chord. Now to get a G, all we need to do is to bar at the fifth, actually seventh fret, but fifth relative to the capo. And we've got a full G chord. And same again, seventh. We've got a full A chord. But of course Dylan doesn't play any full bar chords in this song. But what I want to do is to show you several chords, uh, numerous ones which aren't in uh, Dylan's song anyway, but which you could incorporate into the song if you wanted to put your own stamp on it, put your own mark on it. So holding a, a standard A chord shape, but uh, at the 5th fret, relative to the capo that is, Strumming from the 5th string, you've got a variation on the G chord that works very well. Play the same thing, A shape at the 7th fret. And you've got a nice A chord. But 
you can also play like a suspended A shape lift your pinky off just play two finger chords We can use an A shape. We can also use an E shape. So, changing from the A shape in the fifth fret, change to an E shape, drop it down to the fourth fret. And also the first fret. So, A shape, the seventh, the fifth. E shape at the fourth, an E shape at the first. Some very nice full sounding chords. <laughs> <laughs> 